Hello my beautiful friends, what is up? How are you? If you've been here before, it's so nice to see you again. If you have been here before, my name is Steph. It's so good to meet you and thanks for hanging out with us today. So we just had the full moon, right? And I'm sure everybody is feeling those effects, feeling those energies and they've been intense, right? So today we're going to be talking about shadow work. I've had some questions on what shadow work is and like how I do shadow work so I just thought I'd make a video around the time of the full moon because it's a great time to do shadow work even after the full moon. I think this video is coming out three days after the full moon happened so it's the energies are still floating around right so it's still a great time to sit down and do some shadow work. So I do have some notes here that I just wrote down to structure this video. I will be referring to those so just don't mind that. But shadow work is a self-healing process in which I think that a lot of us kind of look at how we feel or the things that have happened to us and we kind of blame ourselves or we feel guilty or we feel shameful about it. Shadow work is really just a form of surrender and release and acceptance of those things. It's not being hard on yourself for the things you've gone through. It's not being hard on yourself because you've experienced life and it's left a mark on you. Trauma can be defined as any situation in which you felt like your boundaries were violated. Trauma can be very different for a lot of people and we all experience trauma at one point or another. It does not matter what walk of life you live. We all experience forms of trauma because we are here to experience life and to process it and to evolve to a higher level of consciousness and experience true joy. It's kind of like we shame ourselves for the things we've gone through but those things turn out to become some of the most beautiful lessons and they are the reason why we are the way we are. Um, now I kind of want to go into the ways that I approach shadow work. Shadow work is a very personal experience. It's kind of going through the things in your life and working through them and really analyzing yourself and saying hey like this happened and as a result of this I act this way or I approach situations in this way or I have a block here. It can be a very personal kind of emotional um, experience truly. I had sat down earlier this week and done some shadow work myself leading up to the full moon because the vibes were very strong and I was like oh my gosh. Um, so I actually sat down and it was a very emotional experience for me. I won't get into details, obviously, but I sobbed and I was releasing so much stuff and I was like, you know, like it sucks right now and I hate feeling like this and I hate like giving into my emotions because I personally love to be in control and I am working on that. But actually giving myself the opportunity to give into my emotions and just be like, just feel this right now. It's so easy to just keep going and bottle stuff up, but I actually love to take the time to do it now just because that's what's going to make me feel better in the long run. That's what's going to make me feel more evolved. That's what's going to help me release those blocks. It's going to help me manifest the life I want. So number one would be journaling with prompts. So there are tons of shadow work prompts. The internet has some great ones. I'm, I haven't personally used them, but I have seen them and I have looked for them and they are really great and they do ask those hard-hitting questions that's really going to make you sit with yourself and make you think about why you are the way you are and it's a great place to start if you're like a little like on the edge and you're like uh, I don't know just take the work out of it just go find a prompt I mean no one else is gonna see this but you so just go for it put it all out there and don't judge yourself for it because you need to work through these things in order to feel better and to live a better life so don't shame yourself for it it might feel a little silly in the beginning like when I was sobbing over my computer I was like what am I doing but like in the grand scheme of things I know that's gonna make me feel better so another thing I like to do if like I want to do this but I don't want to do it like so intensely and like in your face a lot of times I write down my experiences and how they make me feel and like any current situation I'm dealing with I write it down as if someone else is experiencing it and like what this person is feeling and how this person is acting as a result of this behavior like kind of like a storytelling type thing by taking myself out of it I'm less judgmental about the whole situation and I'm more honest when it doesn't feel like it's me so that's one of my favorite ways to do it just because 
on those days that I'm being really hard on myself, I'm like, okay, like, just take a second. I actually did that earlier this week. The next one would be um, meditation. It's usually a guided meditation for me if I'm trying to do, like, shadow work because there's obviously something very specific I'm trying to work through, whether it be, like, um, insecurities or anything like that. So you can literally just look up whatever your situation is and then put guided meditation after it. And there are plenty of resources for you on YouTube alone, and it's a great place to start. Meditation is one of my favorite things. I've talked about it tons on this channel before. And it truly does change the game in a lot of ways. And it's just, it's such an easy, refreshing way to go about things. And it feels really nice. So I don't know what else I can say, really. If you have any questions, just let me know. Ooh, this is my favorite one. Okay, so EFT, Emotional Freedom Technique. I'm just gonna give a quick rundown about what it is. If you haven't heard about it before, it is incredible. And there is one specific practitioner here on YouTube that I will highly recommend, so just give me a minute. But EFT is Emotional Freedom Technique, and basically you're tapping on different meridian points on the body to release um, the energy that certain emotions hold. So there are different points that you go through. I will insert a photo here to just kind of explain it. Either you tap on the side of the hand and whatever, and you can follow a script, you can follow a video. Brad Gates' channel on YouTube is so incredible. There are plenty of lovely EFT practitioners on this platform. However, no one does it like Brad Gates. Like this, this video is just gonna turn into a Brad Gates fan video because nobody does it like him. I don't know what he puts in his videos, and they're so simple and they're so easy to follow and he's just like it's so great so he'll like say the things and you'll like tap with him and say the other thing like say what he's saying out loud and it's oh my gosh it's just ha, ha, ha. it's incredible it you feel so much better it's an immediate release it feels so good and he has videos on literally everything like money relationships family jealousy, anger, all of the things. Like anything you can think of, he's probably made a video on it. And he is incredible and I highly recommend you check out his channel because it is my go-to. He has brought so much peace into my life and he is just incredible. So I could not recommend EFT enough, obviously. And then YouTube Reiki sessions. Okay, so if you, I don't really know how to explain Reiki. It's an energy healing practice that moves energy around your body and they kind of heal you with their energy type thing. Quick Google search, again, not super educated on those topics, so I'm not going to pretend that I am. However, Reiki YouTube sessions, you wouldn't think they work, but they work and they make you feel so relaxed and it's such a great experience and I just, I love it. I'm obviously a big fan of everything on this list, so like, I'm a little biased, but I definitely recommend that you check out YouTube Reiki Sessions. There's some awesome people who do it here on the platform. Writing a letter to the universe or to whoever or whatever you're trying to release. So the big thing about shadow work is you're releasing the things that are no longer positively serving you. So say there's a person in your life that you want to let go of, but you're still like, you have these residual feelings. Write them a letter. Be like, this is what, how you make me feel, and this is what, why it sucks for me, and this is why I'm disappointed, and just put it all on the line. It does not matter how long this letter has to be. It could be a paragraph. It could be 14 pages. I don't care. Write them a letter, put it all on the line, and burn it. Set it on fire, honey, because we don't need it anymore. We don't need the energy anymore. And just ask your angels, your guides, whoever you believe in, God, the universe, source, whatever. Be like, hey, I set the intention that when I burn this letter, I cuddle cords to this, I release this from me, and I am able to move on with my life, and I send them love and healing, and I'm grateful for the lessons I learned from them, but I am ready to let this go. And you can do that with a situation, you can do that with a person, you can do that with a circumstance, you can do that with a memory. You can literally do it with anything, and set that thing on fire, and it makes you feel so much better. It's fantastic. This oh, this one is kind of a little bit emotional. So. Another thing that I love to do, personally, especially for the little me that resides in me, that's just like living her life, watching us go through life, you know, that little me 
has been through so much and she is so brave and she is so awesome. And sometimes we just need to let our little selves know that. We need to let our little selves know that we are incredible and we are proud of them and they are perfect and beautiful and so, so loved. Especially if you didn't hear that a lot as a child. Um, so it's very important like a great way to do shadow work is to actually write the little you a letter apologizing for anything that has happened to them and re reassuring them that everything will be okay and they are very loved and they are very cared for and anything anything that you need to hear that you haven't heard lately or that no one has told you or no one has told you that they're proud of you or that they are proud of you for accomplishing this thing or getting this job or moving to this place like anything in which you have not heard the validation you have the opportunity opportunity to give that to yourself. Your little you is so, so, so craving those words of validation and that love. And you have the opportunity to give that to them every single day. It's part of my practice every single day. I just tell the little me I love her. I'm very proud of her. She's doing fantastic. She's so brave. I mean, little me is a badass if you think about it. Like she got through so much and your little you got through so much. And we're just so proud of them so it's important to let them know that you love them and you can do whatever you want with that letter you can um you can burn it you can keep it you can uh do whatever you want with it really because you're just letting yourself know it's gonna be okay so whatever you choose to do with the letter is totally up to you but it is a great practice to do especially when you're looking for that little bit of like extra reassurance and validation that you are fantastic and you have the opportunity to tell yourself that and to give yourself that because we deserve it. Every single one of us deserves to feel loved and we have the opportunity to give ourselves that. So that is one of my favorite things to do when it comes to shadow work. All right, so closing thoughts. When can you do shadow work? Does it just have to be on a special full moon in a special night in the moonlight with candles? No, it can literally be whenever you want. I do shadow work whenever I feel like I need it. The more you do it, the less scary it will be. But the more you do it, the faster you're going to get to the life you deserve. Because you have subconscious blocks, you have childhood trauma, you have adulthood trauma, you have life trauma, you have past life trauma, you have DNA trauma, cellular trauma, all of the above, right? And you have it all. And so it sucks that sometimes we have to carry things into this life to still process them, but that's what we're here for. We're here to experience life, to process our emotions, to be excited to be alive. And so when you're working through your emotions and you're working through the things that make you feel a certain way, it really helps you to kind of move to that next level and like release those things that you're holding on to. And I'm not invalidating anything you feel right now because it is valid and everything you feel in every moment is valid and your experience on this planet is beautiful. And I do not get to tell you how to do your healing journey. I do not get to tell you how to make yourself feel better, but I can share with you what's worked for me. And so that's kind of what I wanted to do with this video, especially around the time of the full moon because energies are so, intense right now and you deserve to feel relief and to feel that kind of calming sense of like hey I put the work in today it's gonna be okay and everything is going to work out for me because it always is and I think that you are beautiful and lovely and your place on this planet is so important and so special and so unique to you that you get to work on yourself and you get to you deserve to feel better and so it might feel a little daunting to do this shadow work but it is so worth it in the long run and I am so proud of you for even taking this first step and like being like that's shadow work I am here to help you out and if you have any questions in the comments down below I am always happy to answer them and thank you so much for watching this video if you would like to subscribe and join our ever-growing little family I would love to have you I love just sharing my day with you so thanks so much for hanging out if you're going to subscribe I will see you next week for another video if you're not it was beautiful to meet you and thank you so much for stopping by